Okay, a separate video for this question. This is a pretty common question, and I think it's important. So I'm going to do a short video just on this topic, and the topic is which is sharper, a serrated edge or a straight edge? And the answer is neither. All right? Why do I say that? Well, in my opinion, the sharpest edge is a beveled edge. Now you can bevel either one. You can bevel a straight edge or you can bevel a serrated edge. Why is the bevel the sharpest? Um, the bevel is the sharpest because one side of your edge is flat or almost flat and the other side is scooped out. It creates a acute, very narrow, very thin edge. Now you can try to scoop out both sides. In my opinion that doesn't work very well. Why? Because a lot of times, well not a lot of times, because if you look closely you can see that sometimes when you scoop out, try to scoop out both sides you'll get a bite taken out of the edge. If you look very closely at the bite, the surface of that bite is vertical. To the and perpendicular to the surface of the workpiece. That vertical edge is not sharp, or it is kind of sharp, but it's not as sharp as an acute pointy edge. All right, you don't want any bites along the edge. You want clean breaks. The cleanest, sharpest break is with a bevel, which means you push straight downward. With pressure, you're going to push straight downward and get a pressure bulb that'll scoop out the edge. With percussion you'll hit straight downward and you'll get a percussion bulb taken out of the edge. You can sharpen, yes, with percussion. Most of the time sharpening is done with pressure, but you can sharpen with percussion. You hit straight downward. You also press or press downward with the pressure flaker. Um, you can see that in the previous video. Now for you new guys who are struggling with this, uh, practice on flakes, and uh, you know, make sure you're doing it the safest way. Uh, when I first started trying to resharpen or figure out how to do the pressure flaking, I, I, I clamped a, a point into a vise and tried to sharpen it that way, and I ended up cutting my hand because it slipped. Uh, don't do it that way. Just do it with the normal techniques uh, with a pad in your hand with gloves on and stuff like that. If you're brand new, you're going to need to be aware that you can cut yourself on these things very easily. It's not a, it's not trivial, okay? And you don't want to ruin your hunting trip or whatever because of a, a dumb cut, all right? So this is an important question. Uh, I, I guess I'll do another video on beveling specifically so you can see what I'm talking about okay um, so there you go that's the answer to that question